The Anderson Power Pole Connector, the most universally used connector in amateur radio today, and I'm going to show you how to properly install them this time on KMRD Radio Stuff. First, we need to know what parts we're dealing with. These three parts are called the connector, and these are called the housing. Now, typically with amateur radio, we're going to use one of three different sizes of connector. We have a 15 amp, a 30 amp, and a 45 amp. They're all going to fit in the same size housing. The only difference is simply the size hole that is going to allow for a smaller or a larger wire to be inserted inside of the connector. We want to make sure we're sizing the proper connector with the proper size wire. Today, for this demonstration, I'm going to use 16 gauge wire, and I'm going to go with the 15 amp connector. Now I highly recommend some type of ratcheting style crimping tool with specific dies for Anderson power poles. This one I picked up at a ham swap, but I also recommend this ratcheting crimper from iWIS that can be found on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link below. Now the first thing we want to do is strip our wire, and I typically want to strip, oh, a little more than a quarter inch, maybe five sixteenths of wire just enough to have the wire completely fill the inside of the crimping connector. These Irwin strippers make short work of it. This part adjusts so you can keep your lengths consistent. I really like this tool. Now go ahead and tidy up your wire a little bit just by twisting it. Then we can go ahead and insert the wire into the connector. And you'll notice on the crimper you have 30, 15, and 45. So we know which side to put it in. So because we're using 15 amp connectors, I'm going to put it in the 15 part. We're simply going to close the jaw and press, press, press until we can't anymore. The crimpers will open up and now you have a very nice solid crimp. Let's do that again. Go ahead and make sure your wire is nice and tight so it fits inside of the connector. Insert it into your crimping tool. And notice the crimping tool has this little housing inside of it. That's so you make sure that you get a perfect crimp each and every time that it's in far enough. And then we're just going to go ahead and close the jaws. And again, a perfect crimp every time. The last thing we have to do is to insert the connector into the housing. And we can do that simply by inserting the connector. And I just like to take a little flathead screwdriver and we're going to just kind of stick it on top of the connector, push it in, you'll hear a click. And the way these are designed, if you see, this connector has that little hook on there. What happens when it slides into the housing, you can see that little metal tab in there. That metal tab, the, the hook is basically going to kind of grab a hold of that metal tab and it's going to prevent it from coming out, okay? So you've got a nice secure connection. So let's do that again. Go ahead and insert the connector. And when you're inserting it, you want to have this metal tab on the bottom because this uh, kind of hook part, if you will, is going to go ahead and grab onto that. And they kind of only go in one way, so if you get it wrong, you'll, you'll kind of know it right away. Now when we're pairing these together, there is kind of a uniform standard way that we do this, and that's simply red right, A up. If you notice on the power pole, there is the letter A on these. So red right, A up, and they have these grooves here where you simply slide them together, and now you have a perfectly crimped and installed Anderson Power Connector. Now that you know how to install the Anderson Power Pole Connector, go ahead and take a look at this video where I review the iWIS Ratcheting Crimper so you can have a great crimp every time.